How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode on the Cornerstone SMP. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, as you can see, we are starting off here in the nether because I need to make my way over to the end portal. I've actually not been there yet, so this is going to be a first for me on the server here. And man, the other guys are doing some work over here. I have not seen this yet. This is awesome. I like this uh, small nether hub we have. I think we're going to plan on extending this and making it a little bit bigger. Uh, in the future, but for now, this is pretty awesome. Uh, but I believe this is the end portal right here. So, yeah, I'm just going to make my way down and uh, check out how it looks over there. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, yep, there is the end portal. Hopefully, it's safe. Uh, it's Yeah, it's definitely safe on the other end. So, uh, maybe I should... Hit this bed just in case. <laughs> Alright, let's hop on through. Alright. Awesome. So, uh, I think it's probably the same type of Enderman farm as last season. Um, it's just like the small pad. Oh, no, it's, it's a little bit different. It used to be like smaller. It was very low to the ground here. But I think I'm just going to stay here and grind for a few minutes and try to get some XP going because I really need to make some new tools. My tools, especially my axe, since I'm uh I'm kinda like a lumberjack, <laughs> my axe has been running low like all the time, so yeah, I'm gonna have to repair this one or either make a new one or something like that. So yep. Alright, so we're back to the base. I finally got my axe fully repaired up, as you can see. And I also got 41 levels, so I'll have to go and blow those later on. <laughs> Make some more shovels. Because, um, as you can see, if you saw last episode, we're working on this mountain project here. And I need a ton of dirt to make it. I've gotten a lot done, as you could tell from the last episode. And we are, like, out of dirt now. Um, <laughs> you can see all these chests on the bottom here were full, and all we have left is grass. There's, like, no more dirt, which, uh, oh, no, I get, we have some grass in here, but, uh, I mean, yeah, it's still only one chest. It's not going to be enough to really finish anything. Uh, but f thankfully, uh, Decisive actually stopped by and dropped off, uh, two double chests full. I've already started taking out some on the top. <laughs> I'm, like, already done with that. So, yeah, thank you to him for uh, dropping this off. I really appreciate it. And uh, that dirt will definitely go to a good use. But anyways, I want to give you guys an updated tour on the mountain here. I've added a few trails, which I actually really like, especially this brown one. So, uh, if you didn't know, every single different color of wool is a trail. And, uh, yeah, this brown one is a new one that I decided to add. This is like... It's actually a really uh, interesting one because I built the mountain first and then I added the trail after. Usually, I kind of, as you can see over here, there's like a kind of like a line of dirt. I usually do that first and then I build the trail and like all of the uh, terrain around it. But with this one, I just place the wool right on top of the land. And yeah, as you can see, it just goes straight up and meets with the red path over there, which I really like. I kind of want to add more paths branching off of that one. Uh, we only have this pink one and the brown one for right now, but I might add another one later on that kind of branches off down there. So, yeah, as we walk up to the top here, you can see I got the stone part completely done, and that looks awesome. I think it's going to look really cool with all the snow on top and everything. And uh, I'm going to have to walk up to the top because I actually completed the peak up there. Alright, so here we are. So, uh, this is the peak right here. This is like the top of the mountain. If I go into F3, we're at level 206 on the Y-axis. So, that's pretty high up. This is like the tallest mountain out of like the entire range we have here, like stretching out that way. And this is where the top of our ski lift is going to go. So, I'm going to have to build this up here eventually. And then, of course, it branches off in two directions. If you have not seen last episode, we worked on this. And, uh, yeah, this is just pretty much it up here. It's kind of weird, especially at the top, because you have to kind of work in circles, like, going around. So, like, this is the top. You kind of just, like, make a random shape. And then you go down a block. And then you just kind of, like, go three blocks or four blocks out and make another giant shape, kind of mimicking the top one. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a 
kind of a sketchy process here because we were like 150 blocks up off the ground and if you fall you are not going to survive even with feather falling and i do not have an elytra yet so that adds to the uh the fear of falling so yeah uh anyways you can see down there we have a huge dark spot we have them all over the place and that is not good because they're like natural mob spawners down there and I'm going to have to go down and somehow light that entire thing up so that doesn't happen anymore. Or maybe, actually, since there's going to be like nothing under this mountain, I could probably light up the entire ground down there and then make like a mob spawner like underneath the mountain. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. That kind of reminds me of what Hicks did last season. I just got that off the top of my head, like just thinking right now, but that would be cool just to kind of hide it instead of having it in plain sight. Because I do need some mob drops, especially gunpowder, if I want to uh, eventually get an elytra. Yeah, I think what we're going to do this episode is go back, kind of stop working on the mountain. My uh, my brain is kind of, <laughs> like, melted from working on this so much. I'm just totally burnt out. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to work on the, what's it called, the ski lodge? <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to have to get some more spruce wood. I'm going to have to chop these trees down because it uses a lot of wood and deep slate as well. I, I don't know if I have any deep slate because this whole foundation here is made of that. So, yeah, guys, I really want to get this project at least somewhat done today, especially the outside. So, I'm going to get to work here, maybe do a little bit of a montage, and I'll see you guys in a little while. Alright, so I've got some things to catch up on here. Uh, obviously, I did not do a montage. I got kind of lazy. I just did not feel like doing one, <laughs> honestly. Because this is kind of boring work. It's really just repetitive, placing the same blocks over and over again. And I don't want to put you guys through that also. So, let me just show off what I got done here. I'm actually pretty proud of how it turned out. I, I changed some things up, like, with my original ideas. And I'll explain a little bit later. But yeah, we got a floor in, finally. Uh, I really hate the torches, by the way. It looks really bad. I gotta find a better lighting system than this. Actually, you know what will work perfectly? If we have, like, hidden lighting under the wool, and then I'll put, like, carpets on top, and then it'll blend in perfect. I think that'll work good. Uh, but yeah, we have a frame for the entire building now. Obviously, like, the dirt and the cobblestone and the deep slate is just, like, scaffolding. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get rid of that. But the spruce, that's where the roof is going to be. There's going to be, uh, I don't know what the actual name is called, but there's like two archways right here. There's going to be like a main part, a main beam, and then there's going to be like another one going from the top there, and it's going to go and uh, like meet up over there. So uh, the roof is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be made out of blocks. I usually use like stairs or slabs, so uh, it's going to match up. It's also going to be deep slate like how I did over there. You can't really see it from here, but yeah, it's, it's deep slate. I'm going to make the whole roof out of that stuff. And uh, yeah, I uh, I thought about this. This is kind of like off topic, but you see how like the floor is very uh, bright, brightly colored over here. It kind of switches from like a very warm and cozy theme as we go up and we enter like more of a darker cozy theme with like the, what is this? Dark gray carpet. And then, like, deep slate, like, around the outside. It was kind of good together. I kind of just came up with that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of wish I got more done, but I did not have much time. I have kind of lost, not lost interest, but lost motivation is a better way to put it on a cornerstone, to be honest. It's been a while since I've played on here, but I'm back now. I finally have the chance to record. And, uh, yeah, everything is looking good. So I believe the next steps with this place are just to put the windows in, maybe figure out a plan for what this room is actually going to be used for. Um, maybe like just, I think it's 
I think it was originally a giant lobby. I've kind of forgotten, like, some of my ideas. I think this is just, like, a place where people can sit down and put on their skiing and snowboarding gear and then go out. And uh, also, uh, I just came up with this a few minutes ago. I want to make a wraparound porch go all the way around this building. So, yeah, you see how it's, like, kind of off the ground? I, I kind of realized that that's going to be a problem. I can't really put stairs up. I mean, I could... But it's not really realistic because we're going to have people like putting on like skis and stuff. How are they going to go downstairs, you know? So I'm going to have a wraparound porch and then I'm going to somehow make like a, a small hill kind of leading up to it or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's kind of like a future project for now. I have to take a break from building, guys. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's, it took longer than you'd expect. Just getting all the materials and uh, especially the wood. I feel bad because the... Uh, Dark Oak Forest near Drew's base is just like almost chopped down completely. I kind of tried to stay away from like where his base is, but yeah, I'm going to have to replant some trees soon. Uh, but yeah. All right, guys, we're actually going to switch it up here and play a game that Decisive recently worked on, which is the Treasure Hunt game. I don't think that's actually the name of it. I think it's something else. Let me see. Okay, so Adventure, Treasure, and Pleasure Time. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm actually really excited to play this because I haven't done it yet, and I've been waiting to do so with you guys. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. We got some signs here. So, buy a shovel. Each chance has five, or each has five chances. Okay. And it's four diamonds a shovel. Ooh, that is kind of expensive. I'm not going to lie, but I have a few diamonds to spend. So, yeah, I've been saving them up recently. I uh, got what? What is this? 48 plus 6, okay. Uh, so yeah, we got a few diamonds. Each shovel has 5 chances to uncover some buried treasure. And uh, just follow the signs in the other house. Okay, so the island actually isn't here. It's actually somewhere else, so I'm going to have to go find it. And uh, since I'm here, I'm just going to buy some really quick. So how many shovels should we get? Like 3? I think 3 is good, right? Gives us like 15 chances. Um, okay, that's one too many. There we go. So that's 12 diamonds. Let's take three of these, and yep, there we go. All right, so yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, all right, we are here, and uh, hopefully, actually, I don't know if this is restocked, or not restocked, but if there's any chests that people haven't found yet, uh, I, <laughs> I hope I just didn't waste all my diamonds, but there's some signs here, so let me read them. Worst experience Nellis has had on the server. She feels awful. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hopefully, the treasure isn't too hard to find. Oh, there's some. Well, yeah, it's obviously taken. I don't even know why I looked in there, but... um, What does it say? Welcome to Treasure Island. <laughs> okay. And, oh, it says, Welcome to Treasure Island. Okay. All right. Well, um... I don't know where to start. Is there like a strategy to this I should have? Because I have no idea how like this is going to work. Are the chests... Okay, the chests, they look like they're very far underground. So they're probably not going to be right on the surface. I'm going to have to like dig some deep holes. So yeah, let me find a spot. All right, there has to be something under this tree somewhere. I am certain there's got to be like a chest somewhere around here because i think the closest one is right here there's got to be one around here so i'm gonna try and dig a little bit let's go right here yeah let's go right here ah ah should i <laughs> i don't this is like freaking me out i ah oh man okay whatever let's just go right here or oh this actually is a better strategy i i hop in a hole and then, hold on, there we go, okay. Okay, so there's no chests over there. There's no chests over there. None over there. And the shovel's broken, okay. Well, I mean, that's a cool trick, I guess, to see as many blocks as possible. Uh, oh, I should have left that. Oops, oh no, okay. Actually, let me undo this so people know that I dug here already. All right, there we go. Uh, let's go over on this side of the tree. I'm going to try 
let's go right here, like right on the water. This looks like a good spot. And there's nothing, okay. Um, let's try and dig this block. And this one. Okay, guys, I'm really bad at this. I already wasted two of my shovels. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> um, ah oh man, I want to... I want to stay around this tree. Let me, you know, let's just go for it. I'm going to go like straight under it. And there's nothing. All right. Well, that's what happens when you test your luck. All right. Well, I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, guys, it's been a few days here and I've been working on the ski lodge pretty much the whole time. As you can see, we've got some major progress, especially with this back wall here. I think the last time you guys saw, there was like four or five blocks maybe <laughs> only placed like of the bottom part of the wall. So yeah, I definitely am happy with the result that we got. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. So if you remember, I did say earlier that I want to put a huge front porch on the bottom part. So this actual level is going to be like right here. So this is going to be where the people are going to be like walking up on this level right here and uh yeah if you can imagine that's going to probably extend out about i'd probably say like seven or eight blocks so probably to like about right here i think that's a good amount of space and then it'll also have like steps and ramps for people to go up and down and uh, that'll look probably a lot different with that and i want to get to work on that very soon here but i do want to talk about this over here so if you remember we had windows that Originally, they were only extended up about like three blocks, and I decided I'm going to change that. So now they go all the way up to the roof, and I do like that. I'm also going to have to put like shutters on the sides and add some other smaller details. So we also have this part here. This is like the main exit of the back wall, and it's just this big door. And I made it stick out two blocks here, as you can see. And that gives us like a small roof that I put on. Pretty similar to what the front of the building looks like. So that's pretty cool. Um, is there anything else that I'm forgetting? I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, the window up there is pretty huge. As you can see, I just decided to make one big window. And I think that's the best thing you can do with like a huge wall like that. Is just put one huge window. Uh, I did that with these walls over here. We have three ginormous windows that uh, I did think about maybe dyeing the glass and make me, making like light gray or gray stained glass. But I do think the clear is probably the best option for right now because it lets the most light in. I think, is that a thing? Do, does the color of the glass let like more light in? I don't think so. But anyways, uh, it does look the clearest obviously and that's why I went with that color. So... I might try and test some other things out. We'll see. Actually, the tinted glass does let no light in. So that's what I was thinking about. If I was if I was to do the tinted glass, that would be pretty cool. But it, I, I do want the natural light to come into the building. I don't want only like chandeliers and stuff. And uh, speaking of chandeliers, we got the roof pretty much halfway done on this side. And uh, I guess that relates because the lighting is pretty dark in here. As you can see, without the torches and without the windows, this place would be like pitch black because there's so many dark colors. So I, I'm trying to take advantage of that. That's why I kind of bridged the gap from the windows to the lighting. Um, so that's why I have the huge windows. I really like how they look. And uh, I think that's pretty much it with that. Uh, I do want to go up and show you guys the roof. Actually, let me tower up there right now. All right, there we go. So as you can see, we have slabs and then blocks, and it has the usual diagonal pattern. Um, I had to figure out how to make this roof, I guess, slant without being taller than this one over here, because this is like the main roof. <laughs> this is hard to word, guys, uh, but this is like the main roof, okay? It goes from here all the way across to the beginning and if you're like flying around this is like it looks like this is like the main part so these parts kind of split off 
if you can kind of visualize what I'm talking about, this part right here and this part. And I didn't want that to be taller than this. So um, I had to make this angle two blocks. Uh, I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but uh, that's the best way to explain it, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's why it's made out of blocks and slabs. I was also thinking about opening this up and taking away this wall so that when you walk in, you see that huge window because you can't really see it now, which kind of sucks. I do want to be able to see that. I might just take away that wall, actually. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I know it's a shorter episode than usual, and I apologize for that. But I do want to get this episode out. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I definitely had fun building this thing. This is like one of my favorite things to do. And uh, this ski lodge here, I think, is one of my best buildings that I've ever made so far. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate it as always. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.